Hey everybody, uh, I'm glad to be back and doing another video. I'm sorry that they're sporadic, but sometimes I just can't think of anything to talk about, or sometimes I just don't feel up to doing a video, and I know I don't have to make excuses, but I do want to let you know why they're at this point in time, not more than there are. But I'm gonna do a little short series. And what that is, is introducing you through me, introducing you to my family, telling you about each one, things about them. And I'll just say you kind of get an idea of my family, I'm gonna start with my children and I'll go like to my husband and uh, I don't know who else, I hadn't thought that far. But anyway, I'm gonna start with my oldest child and work my way down to Kaylin. So uh, I guess I should get started my oldest child is, and give me just a second, I have to think for sure how old she is. On her birthday, which is March 31st, she'll be 45. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I never was the best in math. But her name is Autumn. Her middle name is Elizabeth. And I know that I had picked a name out for Autumn, but now, 45 years later, I don't remember what that name was. But in the hospital, the name Autumn kind of just popped in my mind, and I thought, that is such a beautiful name. I think I'm, I'm going to name the baby Autumn. So I did, and then Elizabeth, uh, is a family name or it has turned into a family name. My mother, which is Autumn's grandma, uh, had the middle name Elizabeth. And then my mom named my sister's middle name Elizabeth. And I named my daughter Autumn's middle name Elizabeth. And she named her oldest daughter that lived Elizabeth, the middle name. As I've told you before, and not everybody's heard, but Autumn's first baby lived several weeks and then passed away of sudden infant death syndrome. And it's a little girl. She was a beauty. And... She died in the night. Autumn woke up to her having passed. And Randy did CPR on her till the ambulance and the police got there. But she had passed. And so uh, that's that. But uh, I believe my granddaughter... Kaylee Elizabeth might be the last Elizabeth so far that we have. And uh, um, I know what I was trying to say. Kaylin, my youngest, told me the other day, she was asking me how she got named Kaylin, how it got chosen, and I told her, and she said, well, I think when I get older and can do it, I'm going to change my name. And I said, well, what are you going to change it to? And she said, Elizabeth. She said, I really like that name. And I don't think she was really aware that it's kind of like a family name. But anyway, she said she wanted to name her name Elizabeth, that it was a really pretty uh, feminine type name. 
well, she didn't call it feminine, but whatever word she used, that's what it meant. And uh, I told her, I said, well, when you get older, you can do whatever you want to do. And so she may forget by then, who knows. But we're going to get back to autumn now. Autumn, and I want to say this before I move on. Hearing about Autumn, Holly, Caleb, or Kaylin, or any other family member that I may mention throughout this series, I'm going to say so and so mad, so and so made bad choices because we all make bad choices. Some of those choices affect us us more than they affect other uh, people who make bad choices. And when I say that, I don't mean they killed somebody or robbed a bank or um, anything like that. You know, you can make a bad choice in the food you choose to eat or a bad choice on where you choose to go to vacation. And so you're going to hear me say that, but no, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You just made bad choices. So, anyway. Autumn was my first. She had a head full of hair. And she, uh, I did the Gerber curl where you wrap the top curl around your finger. And uh, you have that curl. I did that with all my babies, except Holly was a little bit older because Holly was born bald. And so when she did get some hair, I did it with her too. But Autumn had this long, thick head of hair, beautiful. And she weighed nine pounds, 10 ounces when she was born. And she was born in the night. And I went into labor. And I used to watch Liberace, not Liberace. Uh, what is that guy who had the variety show? Lawrence Welk. It was a Sunday night and Lawrence Welk was home. And I dozed off and I woke up to labor pains. And so, I woke my husband up, not Randy, but my husband at that time. And I said, it's time to go to the hospital. My stomach's hurting. I'm in labor. And he said, well, people's stomachs hurt all the time. Just go back to sleep. Of course, he was very sleepy and just said something dumb, but... uh Anyway, we got up, and then we had no gas in the car, and we had to go quite a few miles before we came to a gas station, but we got gas, and we came on to the hospital, and uh, labor was really intense, and the nurse that was there when I came in, she stayed over and with me while I was in labor. Maybe she knew I was young and scared. I don't know, but she decided to stay, and I was so glad about that. And so Autumn was born at 9.36 in the morning, and uh, that would be on a Monday morning. And uh, I was just in love with her. Just a beautiful sweet baby and so growing up there was nothing that I can think of that she did that was would make her be any different than other kids like she didn't uh, fly a space shuttle or anything like that she was just a normal kid and uh, she did ballet, and she was 
so cute in her outfit that they had for their special performance. And um, she just did the things kids do. Uh, her and her sister went to daycare while I went to beauty school. And so they did that for a uh, little over a year. And uh, then she got older. And it seems like with every one of my children, all four of them, that when they became 12 years old, they started making bad choices. And it hasn't stopped with Kaylin because she is 12 and she's making bad choices now too. Nothing major. Just stuff if she'd listen to mom, life would be easier. But you have to learn. You have to, to live and learn and make your bad choices and live, uh, excuse me, and learn from them. Of course, if there was a bad choice that was going to be made that was going to negatively affect her life, we would have hopped right in there and stopped her. But um, we just did the best we could do. And so um, she did the minimum education she could do because... Like me, she hated school. Oh, if they gave an award for hating school, I'm bound to have won that. But then she went out and started living in the her world where she, uh, well, she got married and had some children and got a divorce and got remarried and has only had one little boy, Charlie, all together, she's got Kaylee, Isaiah, Aaron, and Charlie. And then the baby that passed away would have been the oldest. But she um, figured out after living poor, and that's what I call it, living poor, because, you know... Uh, it really does take an education now to survive. And she did something that I am so proud of, and that is she was single for quite a while and had those children she was raising. And she went... I'm doing a video. She... uh went to college and got her, I think I'm right, associate's degree, a full-time college student, and I'm so proud of her. It's just too easy to say, no, I just can't do that, but she didn't do that. She went and got her associate's, and I am so proud that she did that, and she worked full-time, worked full-time, went to school, uh, I think full-time, but don't quote me on that, and had those children to raise, and she did it, and she uh, worked at TJ Maxx. She went in as just a regular old everyday employee, and since then, which has been about 25 years ago, she manages her own store. She gets uh, uh, where they write what kind of job you're doing and all. She has that once a year, I believe. She always gets the highest marks you can get. And... Uh, they talk about really how good she is. They put her in stores sometimes for, uh, you know, not a real long period of time, but enough time to straighten out the store. She's good. She's real good. I call her a company girl because she does not miss work. 
I don't care if there was 15 feet of snow on the ground. That girl, if she has to call in a sled dog, she's going to make it to work. And she does. And by the grace of God, she's never gotten hurt. Just taking a time out for a short cry. But she uh, talks about sometimes, or she did, I'm doing a video. She uh, talks about having another child, or she did, and I'm like, please, you need to think about that. And so she hasn't mentioned anything in quite a while, so hopefully... She's not going to have any kids, any more kids. But uh, she's a wonderful parent. If there's anything that that girl loves, it's her children. She absolutely adores her children. She loves to have um, get-togethers for holidays and things like that. Or if somebody's getting married or having a baby or Whatever she likes to celebrate that with everybody. She likes to plant flowers and and make her yard look real pretty. But I have to laugh here and say this. She'll have her yard looking beautiful. She puts new mulch down every year. And she buys beautiful hanging baskets and hangs those around and just uh, has it looking gorgeous. But then, uh, I think she feels like that flowers don't need water because they slowly die and she just doesn't water them. So, I think that's cute. Um, she... Uh, is an excellent cook. I mean, she can... She's famous for her mashed potatoes. Everybody loves her mashed potatoes. And she make, makes other really, really good things. I know I had chicken and dumplings one time she made that was so good. She makes a awesome corn casserole and a cranberry salad. I can't name anything she makes that I don't love. Uh, just a wonderful cook. So anyway, I'll probably think of other things to say about her, but that's kind of all I can think of. She's just a pretty much a homebody. They like to go uh, on vacation especially to Pigeon Forge, as often as they can. Uh, they, meaning her and her husband and family. And um, uh, Pigeon Forge is a, a, a really fun place for them. And her husband is from Elizabethton, Tennessee, and they went there a while, not too long ago, and he would really like to move back there but I don't know if that's something Autumn would do or not and so I guess that's it you know about Autumn uh, everybody needs Autumn in their family and Autumn I love you and I'm going to go ahead and go now Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, but my next video is going to be about Holly. And so we will talk about her the next time. And I love y'all. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.